Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to talk about two categories of trading, which are day trading and swing trading. We're going to see what each of these trading methods mean and how they differ from each other, and then we'll discuss the pros and cons of these trading strategies to see which one is better. Stay tuned and let's get started. All right, let's begin with day trading. A day trader is someone who trades on lower time frames, doesn't hold positions overnight, and in compared to other kinds of traders, executes a higher number of trades. Day traders don't care about macro market movements, and when the day or the trading session is over, they're done. They leave their charts. Day traders trade on shorter time frames, like five minutes, fifteen minutes, up to one hour. Uh, they may also use four hours, but only for identifying major support and resistance levels or trends. Day Traders hold a trade anywhere from a few minutes to several hours at most. They do not hold their positions overnight and the trades are limited to intraday trades. Day traders uh, usually use high leverage and combine it with short term trading strategies. The frequency of trades they take is significantly higher in compared to other trading styles and also volatility of the market is very important for day traders. Usually volatility is the focal point of a day or trading session for them. So events like news announcements announcements, business reports, and other market-related events that can increase the volatility is applicable to day trading strategies. But please pay attention that these high volatility situations are not the only one they pursue. Specific settings and low volatility price action strategies are also used by day traders. For example, during low volatility periods, the market is very likely to form ranges and day traders take advantage of the range and make profit with buying and selling at the bottom and top of the range. Also, any break out of the range can provide them a trading opportunity and these breakouts in the market usually coincide with news events and financial reports that suddenly drive the price up or down during a short time period. Price action analysis plays an important role for many day traders and besides concepts like trends and support and resistance levels, they also use patterns for entering a trade, candlestick patterns and other types of patterns like flag, pennant, triangles and wedges are commonly used patterns among day traders. Besides the price Price action analysis using indicators are also common among day traders, especially for those who want to build a system-based trading system rather than analysis-based trading system. The percentage of profit that day traders make on each trade is not that big, but because they have high frequency of trading, it adds up to a considerable figure when the trader successfully performs several trades, especially when larger amount of capital is allocated to the trading account. Also using leverage is very common among day traders, especially among those who have appetite for higher risk to get higher rewards and when leverage is also involved it can increase and multiply the profit based on the leverage level that is chosen. Another important factor about day trading is that because the number of trades opened are high this leads to compound profits and by compounding profits over multiple trades the amount of profit that is made at the end is higher than by winning big in a single trade. This combination of using leverage, high number of trades and compounding uh, make day trading a great method of trading for making considerable money in the market but it's not that easy and day trading comes with also uh, some significant drawbacks because of the higher number of trades in day trading the capital the trading account is more exposed to risk especially when the trader falls on the streak of loss for example consider a trader who opened five trades with a set amount of risk two percent in a day and the trades were all lost this brings ten percent of loss in a single single day. And you must also pay attention that the higher number of trades can easily compound their losses and make the losses bigger just similar to the compounding profit. So because of this high degree of risk involved in day trading, it requires more discipline and strict rules to avoid significant losses. Another drawback with day trading is that as I explained, volatility is very important for day traders to make significant profit. And this forces the trader to change the routine of his life. For example, a market may have higher trading volume and volatility in the opening hours of US or Europe and therefore uh, traders who do not fall under this time zone must adjust their sleep schedule to fit into that time zone to have the opportunity of catching large moves. By considering all these factors about day trading, it's clear that day trading is more suited to professionals and experienced traders because the need to constantly monitor the positions, adjusting stop losses, staying disciplined and staying tuned with all the news and events 
trends and price actions and catching the volatilities and momentum is what makes day trading one of the most difficult trading methods and not recommended for beginners. All right, now let's see what swing trading is. A swing trader is someone who trades on higher time frames, holds positions overnight and executes fewer trades in compared to a day trader. Swing trading is a trading method that focuses on capturing big market moves. They use higher time frames anywhere from four hours to weekly for anticipating the market's future direction and they usually hold their positions until another anticipated price level. This is usually anywhere from a few days to several weeks. Swing traders usually use technical analysis for analyzing the market and by following the market's price action they are more in a status of reacting to what is happening rather than fitting their own bias onto a chart in the hope that macro movements will follow their hypothesis which is usually the case in day trading. They also use fundamental analysis to some extent in the mix with technical analysis and by following the news and events they try to more confirm what is happening on the chart. Swing traders usually don't use leverage or just lower level of leverage in case that they need to leverage their positions and this causes to have lower degree of risk. Because they open lower number of trades in compared to day traders, the need to actively monitor the market and managing the positions is also reduced and also they have more time for analyzing the market and it takes more time for a trade hypothesis to go wrong. Another advantage of swing trading is that it's unaffected by short term volatility because here the focus is on higher time frames and catching bigger moves of the market. In compared to day trading, swing trading is less risky and more suitable and more profitable for beginners. But this trading method also has some drawbacks. Swing trading is generally dependent on the direction of the market and because the position is open for a greater amount of time, it's in a danger if the market crashes or suddenly changes its direction because of a news or whatever the reason. That's why some swing traders use hedging strategies, but uh, this comes with an extra cost for the trade at the end. Another drawback of swing trading is that it relies on the ability to predict the future. Predicting the market, for example, a month into the future is extremely challenging, even for experienced traders. And there is also a problem of extra cost with swing trading. Most of brokers charge you maintenance fees for holding your positions overnight. Or in the case of crypto market, many exchanges may charge you funding fees on futures trading. For example, on Binance futures, this happens every eight hours. When a position is held for several weeks, funding fees can eat up a significant amount of your profit or your allocated capital. And also if high level of leverage is used, funding rate fees can even become a bigger problem. To deal with this, uh, some swing traders periodically increase the position size to negate the fees taken by the exchange. All right, now after covering all the pros and cons of day trading and swing trading, you may wonder which one is better for you. If you're a beginner, swing trading is a better choice for you because as I explained in this video, day trading is more risky and it needs more experience and skills to successfully execute trades. But this doesn't mean one is better than the other because trading in financial markets is deeply tied to psychology and each trader has some strength or weaknesses that make them better suited for a specific trading method and a strategy. So if you have some experience and develop skills on trading, you can give them a try. Pay attention that it will take trial and error to discover which trading style uh, suits you better. Keep in mind that only experience and exposure to the market can help you to become better in trading and recognize your strengths and weaknesses. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you found any value in this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.